its reach. So I have lived in the area my whole life and have been a member of um, a couple different churches, but one religion my whole life, and I have been happy and content with that. Um, I ended up marrying my husband 12 years ago, and he was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We knew since we were a little bit older that we wouldn't be raising children together, so it wouldn't be a big deal if he had his faith and I had my faith. But I did want us to occasionally go to each other's churches, and so he agreed to go with me, and the very few times that he did, there would just be something mentioned from the pulpit that was just kind of a little jab at his church and just nothing serious but enough to make me uncomfortable for him sitting beside me and I just thought that is so unfair. And um, so I just really started praying about what we should do. And one night when I was out walking, I happened upon missionaries that were at the corner of an intersection and they were pushing their bicycles. And I thought, oh, should I talk to them? Should I not? Is this my sign? So I said, hey guys. And I introduced myself and told them that my husband was a member and just asked if they would stop by the house and visit with him sometime. And they wholeheartedly agreed. Um, they gave me a pass along card and I took it home that night and I wrote a note across it for my husband that said, your brothers are coming, ha ha ha, thinking it was a joke. Well, the next morning when he saw it, he said, I hope you're ready for this. And I'm like, oh, you know, this is for you, not for me. And so they started coming and um, sharing with us and visiting with us. And I didn't understand about the church or why they were on a mission and why at this age were these young men so excited about sharing the gospel. As I learned more about their mission, I learned more about their life. Therefore, I learned more about the church, and I knew that I had had Christ in my life, my whole life, but I did not have this light that they exemplified, and the spirit that they brought into our home was just unexplainable. There was just a peace when they were there. So I started getting a little more interested, but I didn't want to be pushed. My holdback was the stigma of the church in this area. Even though I knew nothing about the church, I'd never even heard of Joseph Smith, I knew that I had heard others say things about the Mormons, but they don't understand. Once I started um, looking into it and just seeing the sincerity come from the missionaries and how much this meant in their life, it just really opened my eyes to what God had for me. As I was pondering this, we went through several sets of missionaries and every one of them were just perfect for me. They all brought this piece of the puzzle that I needed at that particular time. One missionary, when he came over, he brought his grandfather's journal that he had written about his life and his conversion. And his grandfather had been raised Catholic, I believe, and they were very strong in their faith. And his family completely turned away from him when he joined the church. He still joined, and he's one of our pioneers. He is actually the pioneer of that family. And that elder, as he finished reading what his dad, his grandfather, had gone through when he joined the church, he just looked at me and said, Sister Carter, you can be the pioneer for your family. You can be the one that sets this journey in motion. He said, and if it hadn't been for my grandfather doing that, I would not be here serving a mission. And that was like the missing piece that I needed. I have never regretted this. It has not been an easy journey just because there's so much to learn, but I have not regretted one moment of it. I have deepened my faith in Christ. Uh, my knowledge of the Bible has grown exponentially. I'm by no means a Bible scholar, but now I know where to go and look for the answers. Quit putting it off. Pray and seek guidance. There are those put on this earth just for you to help you through this experience that want to lead you back to our Heavenly Father. Don't put it off. Do it now and you will not regret it.